You're watching CNA Heroes. Here's Lisa Sweet. Welcome to CNA Heroes. I'm Lisa Sweet, co-founder of the National Association of Healthcare Assistants. I look back on 2020 and how difficult it was for so many. Difficult and lonely times for the residents, isolated from their families, physically, mentally, and emotionally exhausting for the CNAs, not to mention frightening. The coronavirus, death, and grief have certainly taken a toll on all who work in long-term and post-acute care. But throughout it all, CNAs have remained brave and strong, going to work, suiting up in their personal protective equipment, their PPE, and delivering the best care they can despite the circumstances. Thank you to Channel 3000 out of Madison, Wisconsin for initially publishing this story. Jamara Hopkins has worked as a CNA at St. Mary's Care Center in Madison, Wisconsin for the past three years. Jamara usually works in the memory care unit, but when the pandemic started making its way to the patients, patients and nurses there, Jamara would suit up to help out in the COVID unit when staffing was short. Jamara worked up to 100 hours of pay period to make certain the residents were taken care of. She became accustomed to working in full PPE, gown, mask, gloves. She said it was a little unnerving not being able to take your mask off. The work was intense and the PPE was very hot to work in. But like so many dedicated CNAs, she did what she needed to do to take care of the residents. Little did Jamara know that in July, after finishing a shift on the COVID unit, that it would be her last on the COVID unit. Jamara, a single mother of two, was diagnosed with stage two breast cancer. She never saw it coming. Suddenly, Jamara was faced with radiation and chemotherapy treatments every two weeks. She states, it was more of a struggle than the regular struggle. Because of nausea and fatigue, the weeks that she gets her chemo and radiation treatments, she is unable to work those days. She does work the weeks that she doesn't get treatment, but that's only around 60 hours per pay period. Still yet, she fell behind on bills and the medical costs continue to add up. Jamara states that her cancer and treatment have impacted her financially and mentally because she's trying to figure out how to go about continuing to provide for herself and her two children when she's not at full capacity. As a CNA, someone who is used to helping others, Jamara is now the one needing help, asking for help, something she said she's never had to do. Jamara states, this is something I never thought would happen in my life. By the grace of God, I have been able to work part-time to keep my health insurance, but I have desperately fallen behind in household bills as well as medical. She continues, I have been reaching out to cancer networks, but due to COVID-19, their funds are short. Family and friends have helped as much as they could. I have a long way to go before I'm able to return to work full time as a CNA at the nursing center. Despite the additional struggles Jamara faces, she's found ways to keep her head up while she waits to see if the chemo is working. A GoFundMe campaign was established for Jamara, exceeding its initial goal, providing a bit of financial relief, and Jamara is very grateful. Jamara, you are a strong, compassionate CNA and a responsible parent. You have given of yourself to take care of the residents 
And it's okay to ask for help. You deserve it. We here at NACA applaud your drive and your determination. Today, everyone join us in recognizing the hard work and the dedication of CNA hero, Jamara Hopkins. Thank you.